Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be explaining how to use a tab bar in Swift. So, tab bars are, are found in like basically every single app. Um, it's the small menu at the bottom which which displays which um, tab you're on. So, each tab can, there are two ways of using tab bars. You can either have each tab uh, linked to a storyboard, which is used in most apps, but you can also have it linked to view controllers. Um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be using the view controller method as it's just easier to show in one storyboard, because otherwise you'd have to have multiple storyboards. But if you wanted to do it with storyboards, all you do is replace the view controller with storyboard references. So to start off, I'm just going to add four view controllers. So add view controller, a view controller, and another view controller. Okay. Now. I'm going to give each view controller a different a different color so you can differentiate between them. So I'll give this one blue. Uh I'll give this one red. Uh I'll give this one green and I'll give this one yellow. Okay. Now to set up the tab bar, you want to add a tab bar controller in. So to do that just search for tab bar controller so now when you add this in, it's going to give you two extra view controllers. You can just delete these and delete that, as we already have our view controllers. And now I'll just put that there. So to connect, so to add items in the tab bar, you need to connect it to different view controllers or storyboard references. So to do that, just control drag from this to the view controller and select relationship seg segue. So you can see our one thing popped up. Just do it for all of these, so relationship segue, uh, relationship segue, and relationship segue. Okay, now now this is the basic idea of how to set up a tab bar. So I'm just going to run this, and once this is finished running, I'll show you how to customize the tab bar and each of these individual uh, items. Oh, sorry, I forgot one thing. You need to set this, so right now, this view controller is an in initial view controller, so it's not getting any of a tab bar. You need to set the tab bar as the initial view controller, if you just go here, and is initial view controller. Now it's going to go through this, and then go to each view controller. So, I'll just run it again. And now you can see, you can click on each one, and it displays the four, four view controllers which we connected. Now, this is good, but it has an item as its title and it doesn't even have a picture. So we can change that by going on each individual item and here we can change the title. So I'll name this blue and I'll just assign an individual um, picture. So for this one, I'll just give it a pencil. For this one, I'll just give it a, uh, I'll name it red and just give it a, uh, something completely random, I'll just give it a trash for this one I'll name it green and I'll give it, uh, what should I give it, I'll just give it a folder and for this one I'll name it yellow and I'll just give it, uh, I'll just give it a paper plane so you would name these what each tab corresponds to so if you're building a calendar app you might have calendar then events and settings something like that but We've just named it each individual color to keep make it easy. And if you want to change the color of these of these of the selected item, then you go on the main tab bar controller and you can just go to uh, click on the items thing and click on image tint. And now you can change this to what if you want. So I might want a yellow tint, or yeah, I'll just keep it yellow and. Now you can see all of these turn yellow. Actually, that does not look good. Um, I'll just make it purple or indigo. Now I can see it really clearly. If I run it, you can see we have our four uh, view controllers with the purple, with the indigo uh, tint, and each view controller has its own picture. So yeah, that's how you use a tab bar in Swift. Thanks for watching, and bye.